Hello guys, Gen Empolis Mata here. Today I'm going to show you Easy RPG Updater RE version 2.0 Alpha. This is just a preview of what the next update will be because, uh, whoa, it's looping boot CTR a lot of times. Well, okay, finally. <laughs> anyway, let me just start grid launcher. The new update will bring a storefront that will allow you to download games to your Nintendo 3DS. I'm going to show you, I'm going to download the test game for um, Easy RPG. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to show, show you the game running. I'm going to download the test game because it's small. And I must warn you before you actually get hyped, if you get hyped with downloading Easy RPG games on the go. The thing is, download speeds, and this is not a server issue, because I've tested this with the my PC, downloading from the same server, same network connection, same distance to the root, uh, router. The 3DS, at least the old 3DS, takes forever to download it. The IB game took about two minutes to download the zip file on my PC, and it was 20 minutes in and counting on the 3DS. So, yeah, if, if the game is large, and by large I mean anything above 10 megabytes, you'll probably be left disappointed. Or if you just, you can always, if you don't have a PC, leave the game down to download and leave the console on. Although I wouldn't do that. Anyway, let's talk about this. First of all, I've implemented a restart function. You press, uh, on the menu, if you press L, it will just quit. It's just so I can update the script and restart quickly. This isn't supposed to be used. But, yeah. I use it. Anyway, next we have the um, new option, the Open the RPG Maker Game Store. You press that, you'll see a list of games. This list of games is hard-coded into the script because I had issues with uh, actually getting it to be server-side. Uh, server-side, you download the um, Lua file from the server and it would Execute. I had trouble with that, so I decided to make it hard coded, and I'll possibly, uh, and hopefully on the 2.0 beta or stable update, I will implement automatic updates to the script. On startup, it will check if there is a new version of the script. If there is a new version of the script, what will happen is that um, it will update and then it will restart. It will uh, give an error to Lua Player Plus and Lua Player Plus will give you the option to restart the script. So yeah, let's go ahead and download test game because it's really small about 768 kilobytes if I'm not wrong and these are about 50 megabytes. If... Yeah, so let's go with test game 2000. So it will download the zip file from my server and it will extract it to the correct path. Which is uh, the Easy RPG Player directory. Let's just wait for it. Okay, it's done. Now you can press B to exit to Homebrew Launcher, or you can press R, and it will give you this this error: program program ended. This, I just made it so you can restart the um, script immediately using the Lua Player Plus functions. So you can just go back to the menu and update to the latest build or whatever. Just in case you want to do that or if you want to download another game. You can also call that function from the, you know, the actual installer for the Easy RPG player. You can press AB to exit or R to, to go back to this. So anyway, I'm going to exit and show you the, you know, the actual good stuff. Let me just go into boot. 
into the homebrew menu the default launcher because it, it loads quicker than grid launcher hopefully I think okay there we go let me just grab my stylus because I can't see anything if I put my finger so easy RPG where is it there we go did it hang on me no it didn't there we go the newly updated easy RPG just updated from Jenkins and there we go as you see I have a couple of games installed and test game 2000 is here let's boot it and see how it looks you can ignore that so this is probably MIDI file or something I'm not sure that's because it's not completely implemented yet but as you see it downloaded this game and it plays it so yeah that's that's it for today guys if you enjoyed this video please click the like button down below subscribe to this channel check out gs2012.xyz and check out Renegatamantis forums as I post there I also post on GBA temp but GBA temp is nowhere nearly as serious as it has to be for um, serious posting okay that's that okay anyway thanks for watching guys that was it bye